hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to make the login and register system in laravel 8 so let's get started with it so previously we created a project and did the basic setup and now we are going to make the auth system in laravel so for that first we need to install a package using our composer so let me give that composer require laravel slash ui okay so hit enter and install this package so we'll give it some time to install so it shows some error guys that app provider schema not found so in the previous video we had added this thing in the app service provider file so this thing is not being found so let us go and import that class over there here let me just scroll this down and here you can see the schema just give right click and import class so it has been imported okay so now let us rerun the command composer require laravel ui okay so it has been successfully installed so now we are going to give the auth command over here so let me say php artisan let me just scroll this up i'll just clear it so it's visible to you guys clear okay so say php artisan ui colon auth hit enter and scaffolding generated successfully so for this you can just go and check it in the resources folder resources views and you can see the auth folder is created so inside this you have your login blade and register file and all okay so let us check in the browser if the output has come so i'll go and refresh okay so you can see the login and register button is over here so if you click on login you'll get the url of login and the login page so there the design is gone in this because we have not imported the bootstrap so we will do it externally so let me go to the bootstrap I get bootstrap.com so let us go to the docs section and here this is the link so we are not going to use the cdn link we are going to store it locally in our project so let me paste it over here and just copy the whole thing Control a and copy go to the public folder over here and create a folder called frontend hit enter and inside this we are going to create a file new file and we'll name it to bootstrap 5.css so let us paste the css which we copied from the browser save and close this so let us create one more css for the custom css we are going to write so we'll rearrange the files inside public frontend so let us create a folder called css and inside the css folder we will keep all our css so i'll move the bootstrap css in that and inside the css folder i'm going to create a new file say custom.css and we'll create the js files also here new folder js okay so inside js we are going to keep the bootstraps js over here so let us go to bootstrap and here we will take the bundle just copy and paste it over here we'll copy the file name so this will be our file name so go there and create new file paste the name over here and let us copy the content so this is the js copy and paste it inside this okay save and close so now let us link these files to our project go to the resources and views layouts app.blade and here we have to link our css close this terminal and we'll just copy and paste this thing so this asset in the sense you are inside the public folder so inside that we need to give the path that is frontend slash css slash css and this bootstrap 5.css i'll just give rename control a and copy just close this file 
I will paste it or here paste copy paste and just instead of this I'll just say custom dot CSS this thing CSS dot app dot CSS we are not going to use so just let me remove that and here for the script it is already given over here so let us just take this thing control X and we will paste it at the bottom okay so paste it and we are not going to use this app dot js thing so let us remove this and say front end slash js slash the file name so it is over here this file I'll say rename control a C I'll just copy and close the file and paste it over here okay so this should do and now let us check the output so I'll close this tab and refresh login okay so you can see this thing the design has been loaded here so this is for register and this is the login thing so let us add some space in between over here so go to your just close this public and inside your auth login blade we have this over here form group row so let me just select all and give margin bottom 3 save and let us check the output refresh and it's done so similarly for the register blade also let us just do it quickly and close the login blade and register so for the form group row just select it and say margin bottom 3 and so it's done over here so now let us insert the data and check so before inserting we need to migrate the database so what we are going to do is we just close all these files and rearrange the files and we'll open the terminal so you can see new terminal and here we are going to say php artisan migrate okay hit enter and all this database will be migrated successfully so let us go and check in our database let's refresh and you can see this is the tables which Laravel provides by default so now let us register and check so I'll register myself say Om Prakash email om at gmail dot com password okay click register you can see you are logged in okay so it is registered and logged in so I'll just log out okay this drop down is not working because this bootstrap version is older one we will just update it with the new one we need to take the navbars drop down say navbar and here you have this drop down right so we are going to take this okay copy and inside our resources views layouts app dot blade file so I'll just close this terminal first so the drop down is over here so I'll just paste it over here and so we are just going to copy this copy and paste it over here okay and we'll just remove this thing and arrange okay and here what we are going to keep is I'll just keep a dummy thing for now my profile and I'll just copy the same thing and paste it over here I'll remove this thing and here what we are going to keep is the logout button so this href will copy and paste it over here and inside this a tag itself we need to paste this on click event copy and paste it and the last thing we need to paste it inside the form itself this thing okay just copy and paste it this is the thing which you need to paste it inside this a tag paste it over here save and now we can remove this old thing okay so this don't forget this guys this is the main thing we need to pass the CSRF I'll just cut and 
paste it or here paste save so this whole thing we can just remove it save and let us close this file and check the output go and refresh so you can see it's working let me click log out and it has successfully logged out so now let me log in with my credentials what i have registered so i say om at gmail.com and password say login and here just successfully logged in so in this video we have seen how to make the login and register system in laravel so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you